So we have an object falling from rest on, su uh, on some unknown planet. If there's no air resistance, then the VT graph should look like this, a straight line graph. And the gradient should be equal to the acceleration of free fall or the gravitational field strength. But if there's air resistance, then the graph will not be a straight line graph, but instead it will look something like this. As the air resistance increases, the acceleration will decrease and eventually it will, reaches the, it will reach the terminal velocity. So the one that's given in the question is obviously um, uh, 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 an object falling uh, under the influence of air resistance. But um, at this point here, these two graphs actually share the same gradient. It's because at this point, uh, the object uh, has got a velocity of zero. When you're at rest, you do not encounter any air resistance. So at this point, there's no air resistance of the acting on the object. So at this point in time, the instantaneous uh, acceleration should be equal to the gravitational field strength. So what we have to do is to draw the tangent to this curve at the, this point here, and then calculate the gradient of that tangent and that will give you the acceleration of free fall which is equals to the gravitational field strength. Okay?